Go and hide. Yeah, you're a freaking what? And you're insecure. You're insecure, you're a freaking bully. It's just not a word. You know, when people say, I don't give a f people say, say about me. Yeah, you do. The, the competitors, you know, you, know what, you know what the competitors are always gonna boast? I'm glad it's gonna be on video. Make sure this, this makes the video. It's a, it's a testament to your personal growth, bro. That's all that is. The people that earn the most and get promoted the most are the people that grow the most. For example, I, I did a quick IG video that you know, Alex chopped it up. But we ran into a guy that went from zero to $200 million. And he said, I didn't take a day off for six years. So he did in six years what most people do in 20. And by the way, the, the, the competitors, you know, you know what the competitors are always gonna boast? I'm glad it's gonna be on video. Make sure this, this makes the video. You know, you know what the, the, the competitors in the industry do, like Prime American, WMG, you know what they always talk about? How strong we are, how big we are. We got this, we got, we're a multi-billion dollar company, we're 11 billion dollar company, we're publicly traded. We got the backings of the fifth largest financial group in the world. You know what you tell them? More power to you. But why do you feel that you got to come in our little 10 year old company? Do you know what it's like to have a multi-billion dollar company drop negative comments and troll our, our channel? What, what happens if I was a junior in high school and I was picking on a fifth grader? Yeah, you're a freaking what? And you're insecure. You're insecure, you're a freaking bully. Keep being insecure. There, there's young there's young trainee associates that troll my stuff, the number one income earner in the company, and what I tell them, hey dude, I'm glad you feel the way about your company. Knock yourself out, more power to you. Just, just so you know, there's plenty of market for us to capture. Plenty market. 200 million people need our help. You think three companies are really gonna do the job? We need. You think we, you think we can, we, we can penetrate the market with 12,000 agents? That's why we need by 2029, 500,000 agents. Yeah, but think about that, bro. Let's say next 10 years, you, you decide to come into this. How old will you be? 20, 10 years? How old will you be 10 years from now? 30. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so, bro, imagine by the time you're, you're 30 years old and you're yanking down 10 mil a year because you decide to lock arms and people are thinking big, man. My hope for you, brother, is that you make no big mistakes mm. these next 20 years. You don't lose a bunch of money. You end up dating the wrong person. You end up having kids out of marriage and baby mama drama. Money's gonna influence you in ways that you never thought would influence you. Yeah, there, there's, there's two things we always have to work on. You gotta work in the business and you gotta work on the business. What do you think you guys are working on right now? Are you in the business right now or are you working on the business? Yeah, you're working on the business. And you work and you work on the business, you work on your house you, to create a bigger house, to create a bigger capacity. Guess what you can do in the house? You can do a lot more. Some people get too caught up, and by the way, the hardest part is not being able to see what's in the house. You know, uh, I heard Les Brown one time said, he said, you can't see the picture when you're inside the frame. Well, a profound statement. I can't see what I'm missing if I'm inside of it. And you always gotta be about the big picture. As a leader, how do you stay on top of your team and yourself? You gotta figure out what you gotta do to move your business individually every day. You gotta figure out who in your company that you gotta help every day. You gotta do both. Where was I last week? I've identified there's a leader out in Biloxi, Gulfport, Mississippi, named Pastor Bay. By the time he gets promoted, he'll be my third generation MD. He's not in your position. He's not, he's not in my base yet. But what am, I, what am I in the business of building? I'm in the business of building leaders. I don't wanna be a king, I wanna be a king maker. So my job is to find out guys that wanna be kings and queens, I gotta go help them. You heard me say it, right? You heard me say it like a month ago. Hey, Pastor Bay, challenge. Yep. Could you could you use my help? I could use your help. I mean, would you like me to go down and help you build your organization? So therefore, you're not the only guy talking about how good your business is, you, you can use some support. That day and the next day, we recruit like 10 in the base. And what do you do the next day? He introduces me to Ray, Ray Crockett, two-time Super Bowl champ with the Denver Broncos. He puts his ring next to my ring, like, you know what he said? I want your ring. <laughs> that is a statement and a half. Two times. Two times. Right. I'm trying to get that ring. <laughs> yeah, because here's the thing. He's retired as a player now. Can he ever win a, win a Super Bowl again? Can you win a Super Bowl? From a financial, uh, can you win a financial Super Bowl? Yeah. Every, year. Every, year? Every year? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's the benefit of being a naturopathy. <laughs> if you if you ask people the right questions to help them, and asking them questions, probably nobody in their entire life has ever asked them. Even if they don't make a decision with you now, just, just like just like right, that's why women are better at doing this. Like I can't stop thinking about her. Like I couldn't stop thinking about Sheena, cause she messed me up. I'm a closer, man. What what, 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 what don't you like about me? Do I have a booger hanging out, or what, what's going on? <laughs> And she still does that today. She doesn't even know. It's like she naturally just does that. And then what do I do? I end up fighting to get her attention. And all day I'm thinking about it. What do I gotta do to? <laughs> and I'm married to the woman. The people that are able to do that to me too are my kids. 
kids mess me up, man. Like, I'm a capitalist as an entrepreneur. But inside my house, I find myself being a socialist. <laughs> 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 Equal opportunity for all. <laughs> but, I mean, you gotta look at, you gotta look at Trump, right? Like, there's gotta be a point where all this negative stuff has gotta weigh in the guy. And yet, he's still negotiating and making deals. He donated his salary back to the country. I don't need a salary. I don't even need as a down payment to anything. And he's taking all this heat, and yet he's still doing the most of what he's got. So if everybody will ever wonder how an entrepreneur would run the country, there it is. Because he's not a politician. He doesn't care to be a politician. He's running the country like he ran The Apprentice. Like he runs a boardroom. My question is, okay, is it the 2029 uh, 2029 goal that's going to allow us to, to, to do that? Or we just need more leadership all, um, all throughout the country for that to happen? Like, what, what does it take for that to be? Yeah, you, listen, man, everything rises and falls in leadership, brother. Everything. Yeah, so the short answer is, yeah, we need more leaders. You know, we need more people to step up and, and that wants to be a leader. And when they do, <laughs> they're richly compensated. What's something you haven't done that you want to do? Good question, man. Mm. You know, the, re the reason why I hesitate to answer a question because I'm, I'm doing what I think I wouldn't do now. But like I'm doing with this opportunity, I'm starting to do what I never thought I'd be doing, right? So it's, it's like, I want to I create a uh, entrepreneur uh, community for our kids. I, w I would like to sponsor a UFC fight where it's uh, PHP. It's PHP night, you know. Uh, Where, yeah, 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 yeah. Ch -ch -ch <laughs> Where, where's Frank Lucas at? <laughs> Find, finding what goals they want. So, so, okay. What are your goals? Here's my goals. Great. What do you want my involvement in your life? Because at this point, you came in business with me because you want me to financially get you to a certain point. It ain't to hang. And I kind of got the conversation I have with my kids. And my role to you as a friend takes a very second, far second, third priority versus me being your dad. Same thing here. Being your friend is a very second, third, fourth, fifth, tenth priority to me than being somebody in your corner to rally you to get to where you want to go financially. My job is to keep you centered on what you want to accomplish as an entrepreneur. In, in the military, they call that fraternization. For example, in the, in, the, in, the, in the military, officers stay in a different area versus the enlisted. Because the officers, they have to lead the enlisted into a very uncomfortable situation where their potential life might be at stake. They're gonna be put in harm's way. And the officer cannot be in a position where the mission comes second to the friendship. Because the first rule of the Marine Corps is mission accomplishment, second is troop welfare. And maybe that might be a more of a militant way of explaining it, but maybe that's the way I approach myself in business. My job is to help you get financially where you want to go. The last thing I want to be is somebody that becomes a friend to you, that lets you off the hook, thinking that lower standards are okay, because they're not. Because you said you want to get somewhere. So the better question is, you want to get somewhere, when do you want to get there? Because you, you want to say as soon as possible, I won't let you go, I won't let you know, overnight success has happened over a 10 year period. Oh my gosh, Matt. Man, she is such an overnight success. We've been working at this for 20 freaking years. Man. <laughs> they, they, they just see the glory, but they don't know the story. Right. That's why this is important. Because Caesar, you, Caesar might see me as whatever, but he's seen me from broke as shit, trying to figure out my life, for, trying to figure out who I am as a single guy, single dad. But I hung out with him. Because he's married, got kids. Like, okay, uh, that's, a, that's where I eventually want to be. You know, how, how do I figure this stuff out? You say you're stuck on an island, you can only bring one book. One book. One Shit. book. That's that that you feel like has really impacted your whole the Bible, done. done. In terms of wealth building and prosperity, you have Proverbs and Ecclesiastes grounding you in terms of values and principles. You have the New Testament giving you hope, hope and light, a brighter future, then one day somebody's gonna rescue <laughs> off, this, <laughs> off this island. So the Bible, because it's, it's just not a word, it's a living word. So that's what I would read. I think in an island, I think you're gonna find out where to get food, how to fish, how to hunt, where the fruits and the vegetables are, how to sustain yourself, how to create shelter. I think you would naturally find that out on your own, but how to live a better life, man. What's the purpose behind this? I think the Bible was sending me. I'd get lost, I'd, I would get lost in the Bible. There's so, there's so many things I've, I've learned from just reading scripture. You know what movie we watched at the MMA with Orlando? We watched uh, the Mark Wahlberg movie with, uh, with the Philadelphia Eagles player, Invincible. Uh -huh. So it was, it was it was a bad year for the Philadelphia Eagles and then they bring in Dick Vermeil, his first year, yeah, his first year as a pro coach. And he said, all right, open tryouts to make the team. What, open tryouts? So he had a whole bunch of characters trying out. <laughs>
But uh, Vince Papale, that's his name, Vince Papale, was a 30-year-old bartender who never played college ball that actually made a team and played for three years. But no professional training, nothing, just, just being a kid from, from Philly. Runs a 4 5 40 in his 30s. But in that movie too, all his buddies that he was bartending at, everybody there's working for the union. There's friends there that didn't want to support him. The guys are dogging him out. Jealousy and envy. And then their friends there were genuinely excited for him. How do you keep that state of mind? How do I mention it? Jealous and envy. Like, so like they're, they're envious, envious of you? Envious of you. And they've thrown out certain levels of energy. They might not even be saying anything, but so I mean, to me, you just keep pushing and keep grinding. But I, I've, seen, I've seen people kind of window off of that too. So, so in other words, how do you respond to people who are jealous and envious of you? Bro, you can only control what you can control. I, I'm, I'm having a hard enough time managing me. <laughs> so, she, the people that say, if they want to be jealous and envious, so maybe if I want to throw them a bone, and no matter how much you throw them a bone, they'll never appreciate you. Because they have that spirit of jealousy and envy. Because they think they're powerless to think that they can't enjoy what you're enjoying. And yet they do. So if you think people are going to say, well, when I have my first hundred grand, they're going to join, you join, you join my ranks? That's another thing too, man. I, 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 I can't worry about what other people are thinking of me. Do I care what people say? I, I do. I mean, there's there's people's opinion that care what they say. You know, when people say, I don't give a people say, say about me. Yeah, you do. That's why you're angry. But it's it's the certain people that you care about. Right. And that's that, that the opinion matters. Yeah. Right. Flip side is true. There's only certain people I take praise from. Otherwise, otherwise it's just flattery. I don't buy into flattery.